For the third time since his release from federal prison, Kwame Kilpatrick was preaching in front of a church in Detroit. But before he gave his sermon tonight, he sat down with the pastor for an open and candid conversation. I'm not your savior, but I can point you to who he is. Kwame Kilpatrick's fall from grace as Detroit's youngest mayor to serving eight years of a 28-year prison sentence has been well documented. And his time in prison took its toll. I went from being hopelessness on the mat and bed of suicide um, to actually the most hopeful person. And, and I think I was encouraging my own family more uh, from inside. But Tuesday night at the Citadel of Praise Church in Detroit, next to Pastor Spencer Ellis, he opened up about the past eight years serving time. How when he first arrived in prison, he didn't think about losing his seat as mayor. He thought about losing his family. I thought about whether Jonas was going to have a dad to raise him. I thought about Jelani and Jaleel. I thought about my mama. And finding a new love, his fiance from Detroit. Leticia, actually, I met her when she was 12 years old. All right. And uh, this is like a, a thing that y'all should know. When I came and taught, I'm coming out of college. I get the first job I ever have. They give me a class. And it's this little girl in the class, along with a whole bunch of East Side kids at Marcus Garvey Academy on the East Side of Detroit. She would later work in his administration, but they barely had contact. Then in 2018, while he was locked away in prison. Finally, we decided to have a visit. And from that visit forward, um, I fell in love with that woman. He also spoke about the moment he found his calling to preach the word of God. But there was no lightning, there was no thunder, but there was a newness of life. And there was this, there was this resurgence that I wasn't by myself, even though I was in a solitary confinement cell. And the moment in prison when he almost died of a heart attack. 13 hours I was in that cell, nobody came. Um, I'm knocking on the door. By the time they got me to the hospital, my heart was beating. It was working at 25%. He understands he will have doubters and non-believers as he embarks down this path. Um, I would be just like you, skeptical. And I'm going to do it whether people like it. Yes, sir. Or whether people don't. Yes, sir. Or whether people Absolutely. approve. Or whether they don't. Um, because I know I'm only here on this stage by oh, grace. Yeah. And we were told about 200 tickets were available to the public to purchase to enter to see him live and in person. We did try to go into the church, but we were told that media is not being permitted in. However, the entire sermon and his conversation with the pastor was streamed via Facebook and YouTube channel at Citadel of Praise of Detroit. Reporting live, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Well, Dane, because of his criminal record, Kilpatrick is prohibited from running for certain elected positions, but not all of them. Does he still have any political ambitions? Uh, he was asked that very question, and he said that, quote, he does not have a taste for politics, and he doesn't see that coming back anytime soon. He said his focus right now is preaching the word of God. Deal? All right. Dave Spencer reporting live. Dave, thank you.